Hi, I'm Corey Keeley, food specialist, and today I have some fun tips for you with your local strawberries. We wait year round for the fresh flavor of local berries, and they are here. So what I want you to do is go picking with your family, go on your own, get out in the fields, get lots of them, and don't be afraid to get extra. You can share them with your neighbors, you can enjoy them yourself, and you can store them for later use, and I'm gonna show you how. So what you're looking for is a big basket of beautiful local berries. They only come once a year. You can see that they look different. They're all oddly shaped. They are unique. Each one has a different flavor, but what you can be guaranteed is they're sweet and juicy. They are quite delicate, so you do need to know how to handle them. So when you get them home, you're going to be taking your basket just like this. You're going to check it before you buy it. You're going to check the bottom of the basket to check that there are no stains on the basket. If there are stains, it means that maybe it wasn't handled properly and you may have some berries on the bottom that have been crushed. If that happens, don't panic. But what you do want to do is go through the basket and take out any berries that have been crushed because they will begin to um, influence the ones around them. Uh, so what we're going to do is you're going to store these on the counter if possible, if not in the refrigerator. You want to cover them loosely just with a piece of paper towel, even tuck it underneath uh, to keep in place. That keeps a bit of the air off, it allows some circulation. Um, and then when you're ready to use your berries, you're going to take them out of the fridge or off the counter and at that point is when you will wash them. You do not wash your local berries until you're going to eat them because the moisture in the air will cause them to deteriorate and you want to have that fresh, fresh flavor as long as possible. So what I've done here is I've washed my berries. You don't want to soak them because the water will be absor absorbed. They're very porous and they will take on whatever you use. So we're lightly washing them and then we're going to take a paper towel or a clean cloth, whichever you have, if you don't mind your cloth getting a little bit stained, use your strawberry cloth. And then we're going to line a baking tray and then we're going to take the tops off. If you're using them right away, then just get them into your favorite recipe, but what I'm doing here is getting them prepared for future use. So I'm hulling the berry, which means just to take off the green stem. And you don't want to take too much, so you can just pull and see what's left and then maybe cut that little, little green nib off. Okay, this is a fun job for everybody and you can set up a production line. I remember doing this with my mom and we'd just buy barrels and barrels and bushels of berries and then we'd all work together, make pies, make jam and there's so many great sites out there. So our berries are ready to be prepared, they're dried and now at this point we can take this tray and pop it right into the freezer because we're going to be freezing these for a future date. You want to leave them in just long enough so that they won't smush together in the freezer. Once they're finished and they're on the, they're lined with the paper towel or a parchment, a piece of parchment paper or saran wrap, you can just pick them up like this and toss them right into a bag or a, any freezer container that can handle them. And because they'll be frozen, you don't have to worry about them being quite so delicate. And then you're going to put this into the freezer to enjoy at a future date. There are lots and lots of ideas for strawberries. You can use them in many different recipes, but my advice to you is just get out there, pick lots, eat lots, and keep them year-round in the freezer.